And we do have team coverage across the uh, region, uh, looking at how each parish is planning for the storm preparation. Danny Monteverdi has been in Plaquemines Parish all morning long. They do have a shelter set up there. I guess you buy a sandbagging operation right now. Yeah, that's right, Eric. We are here at one of the one of several sandbagging locations in Plaquemines Parish. In terms of the conditions, that really hasn't changed from what we've been saying all morning. It's kind of breezy. It's actually a little cool for an August morning. Uh, there's some wind, no rain at this point so far. We're hoping that stays off. But again, there is sandbagging uh, that is available here. Again, it's one of several places in the parish where you can do that. Uh, the parish has also enacted a mandatory evacuation order for the east bank of Plaquemines Parish and for parts of the West Bank, those areas that are outside of the levee protection system. Uh, Parish resident Kirk Lapine told us a short time ago that he estimates about 75% of the people who live outside of that levee protection system in Plaquemines Parish have evacuated. In terms of a shelter here at the Bell Chase government complex in Plaquemines Parish, he estimates there's about 50 people using the shelter right now. Uh, there are a little bit tighter restrictions these days because of COVID-19. You have to take your temperature when you go there and uh, you have to wear a mask while you're inside as well. But again, uh, with the with kind of the two threats of these two storms out there right now, there are some people here in the parish who are taking advantage of the sandbagging operation where they can come in and fill their own sandbags. We spoke to one Bell Chase resident a little while ago, and here's what she had to say about what she's feeling today. We are not too worried about Marco, but now that Laura has the possibility of expanding we're a little concerned about water. We stay saturated and I mean, thank goodness we don't have a lot of water with Marco, but Laura, we're really nervous about. So we definitely want to get the sandbags in place. And that was one resident of about three or four who have shown up here so far this morning to take advantage of those sandbags. If you do need them, uh, we have all the locations available for that on our website and our mobile app. Just look for the story about sandbagging locations. They say if you do need sandbags here in Plaquemines Parish, you do have to fill them up yourselves and they are requesting that you limit them to 10. That is the latest for now in Plaquemines Parish reporting live. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. All right, Danny, thank you very much.